Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can engrave glass. Without further ado, let's get into it. Engraving glass is particularly tricky and the reason for that it's common to most transparent and semi-transparent materials. Uh, the issue is that glass will allow for most of the light pass through. Uh, in other words, has a very high transmittance. In fact, we are using glasses for windows. And the primary reason why we are doing that is that so we allow light to get into our homes or offices or whatever uh, the window happened to be installed. So now, by having all the light or most of the light passing through, so being transmitted through the glass. That means that a very little percentage of the uh, light emitted by the laser uh, is actually being absorbed. And this is basically um, overruling the requirements for the uh, laser engraving and cutting technology. Now, without getting too technical into it, uh, the issue is that Laser cutting and engraving technology relies on the fact that the material uh, will absorb uh, the light, okay, will convert the absorbed light into heat, and the heat uh, will basically overcome the threshold, which is the point at which the material uh, starts evaporating. And that's exactly what happened when we are engraving or cutting any material with laser technologies. And so with glasses this becomes particularly uh, difficult because uh, unless you don't have an extremely high power to do the job, uh, the small percentage of uh, light from the laser that is being absorbed won't be enough to um, allow you to actually uh, do anything visible to the glass itself. I've been performing many different tests. In fact, I had to also go ahead and buy more glass. And the thing that I realized is that um, the glass was uh, being engraved on the other side. What I mean by that is that uh, when I was placing the glass onto the um, working area, okay, onto my cutting mat, which I use in my laser engraver, instead of having the engraving happening on the uh, side facing the laser, which is the top surface, the engraving was happening on the opposite side, okay? And so initially I was thinking that there was something to do with how the light is then reflected inside of the glass, okay? But then I quickly realized that actually that was not the correct answer. The issue is that at the point of interface, so where the surface, the bottom surface was touching the cutting mat, so that was the surface of interface, so there my cutting mat was actually absorbing the light and so was generating the heat that would then uh, grant the surface to be engraved. In fact, I then uh, made several tests and I place my uh, workpiece in a elevated fashion. So I basically put two pieces of wood on either side. I put it high. And despite being at the right uh, focus, so that means the right height for the laser, I wasn't able to get any results whatsoever. The only thing that I was getting is my cutting mat being burned, although it was uh, father. okay? So at that point, I understood that I had to have some sort of uh, interference surface in the place where I wanted my engraving to happen. And so I initially started with placing a sheet of paper, you know, paper from a printer. And that kind of showed something at low, at high power and low speed. But it wasn't actually a clean job. So at that point, I started to use masking tape. With the masking tape at the right settings, I basically got a brilliant engraving. 
after that I've tried something that I've seen on the internet I've seen other people using uh, wet uh, kitchen paper or towel paper now the problem with that is that I eventually obtained some engraving results but the results are not constant and the problem is the amount of water that is in the uh, towel paper in fact in my engraving I was having the first like 20-30% of the engraving having no effect then after that that means while uh, the towel paper was drying out and most probably reaching the uh, correct amount of uh, moisture there uh, you start getting this engraving effect and then after that it stops once again once obviously the moisture level goes uh, down and so I made several different tests with that I also tried with uh, typical printer paper and cardboard wetting it up and trying to you know stick it on top of the glass to apply on top of the glass with uh, uh, a cylindrical object just to squeeze and to have an even layer of uh, uh, water there but the results were all inconsistent so I abandoned that idea so at the end I stick to the masking tape and it seems like giving uh, a neat result each time all right it's time to talk about the actual engraving procedure in one go now the first thing you want to do is to have your glass uh, elevated so that means you don't want your glass to be supported from a surface otherwise you will get unwanted engraving on the bottom so you want to have the glass supported uh, for example either uh, hand here and so the glass will be bridging across so that you avoid that kind of uh, uh, situation now once that's done so you can set it up it's time to clean the uh, region where you are going to uh, engrave and so to do that you can use any kind of product uh, I use personally uh, isopropylic alcohol but you can really use anything the important is to get rid of all the uh, fingerprints that's because you have oily fat in there so you want to have that off because this will actually affect the final result once your glass is clean it's time to apply your masking tape so cut down the masking tape to the right size to cover the engraving region and here is very important to take care not to trap any bubble of hair under the masking tape so that mean that means between the surface of the glass and the masking tape because in the region where you will have a bubble of air you won't get any engraving effect and so you don't want to do that so I would recommend you to basically uh, apply the masking tape from one point and then to radially squeeze with your finger until you get all the air out and maximum adherence uh, with the surface okay after that you can launch your engraving obviously you will need to experiment with your specific uh, laser module to find the right power and speed settings um, so you will basically have uh, the same result each single time the important here is not to overdo with the, uh, with the power or on the other side not to go too slow uh, because you don't want to heat up the material too much otherwise you might get your glass brittle especially if you're uh, engraving a bottle of, uh, of uh, glass I mean not a sheet of glass but a drinking glass so you want to uh, be aware of that and to prevent that from happening okay once you're done with that you will uh, remove your masking tape you might need to use some pick or some tweezers to remove uh, tricky areas like inside of the letters and it's time to clean it now to clean it you can clean it like a uh, dish so you can use uh, 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 dish washing soap and a sponge and you can clean it up alternatively the way I do it's with a brush and with isopropylic alcohol to remove all the uh, residue from there and that's pretty much all you have your beautiful engraved piece of glass
Now, let's pass to the procedure for the wet towel paper. Now, as I said, uh, engraving with uh, wet towel paper is particularly tricky because you must get uh, the amount of moisture just right, but you might want to experiment with that. So I'm going to share with you, of course, uh, the procedure that I uh, do, that I use. So once again, you want to ensure that the glass it's elevated as we did earlier so again on a piece of wood or something like that you will clean again your glass so to don't have any oily fat in the engraving region and then uh, what you want to do um, you will get a piece of uh, towel paper now you can wet it up in advance and then apply it to the glass uh, but um, I personally do the opposite I first apply it on the surface and then I just put few droplets so that I can basically see uh, how much water I'm putting in there okay so once you put water you might want to start pressing it down gently not to uh, turn apart the uh, towel paper and then I would highly recommend you to get some rounded object a cylinder so that you can evenly evenly distribute uh, the layer of water and to squeeze everything nice and flat and so once again once that's done you can uh, launch your engraving with the right settings that you will need to test with your specific machine with your specific laser module and once you're done with that uh, the beauty of using uh, wet towel paper is that you won't need to do anything uh, different from just removing the towel paper and you're good to go there is no cleaning to do because obviously uh, there is nothing that stick to the engraving in fact and that's how you do it with my uh, laser module which is the 40 watt uh, dual uh, laser from Manage basically with a 90 percent uh, power and uh, uh, maximum 600 millimeter per minute I'm able to achieve a good result okay uh, if you go above the 600 millimeter per minute uh, you are basically not getting anything and if you go below you are getting deeper however you should also consider the amount of uh, power that you uh, put in it because if you are letting the glass uh, be being exposed to the heat for a prolonged period of time you might end up uh, cracking the glass in fact with uh, some tinier piece of glass that means thinner piece of glass uh, that's exactly what I was uh, getting so I was getting the laser going and then at a certain point uh, eventually closer to the edge it was cracking and so it was ruining up uh, the entire project and so that's uh, the way uh, you go about it now just for completeness uh, using different type of laser technologies like co2 and even better uh, fiber lasers you will be able eventually to engrave without particular problems at uh, with higher power of course and that's because although the glass as we said it's uh, transmitting all the light passing through it the light that we are talking about is the visible light so that's the light that our eyes are able to see however the light is electromagnetic radiation and the spectrum is way wider than that and so the thing is that the uh, light emitted from other laser technologies it has a different wavelength and the wavelength matches the point at which the glass absorbed the most and so that's how the other laser technologies are able to achieve uh, engraving this is pretty much all i hope you found my video helpful you enjoyed it if you have any comment don't forget to leave them below i'll be ready to answer all of your comments if i'm able and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one Ciao for now.